Hello everyone. Um, I'm Ming Guo from the Ming University of China. It's my pleasure to share our work, Spectral Heterogeneous Graph Convolutions with our Positive Lung Commutative Polynomials. This work has cooperated with my supervisor, Zhou Wei, and uh, a team from Baidu Inco Incorporated. This work focuses on uh, heterogeneous graph, uh, which has multiple types of loads and edges. This graph uh, widespread in our life. Uh, an example is the uh, academic late work that includes three types of loads, and paper, author, and conference, and uh, four types of edges, uh, that is write, written by, published, and published in. At present, heterogeneous graph do really work as the main method to deal with this heterogeneous graph. But uh, existing HDNS exhibit several limitations. Uh, Firstly, the efficiency of metapass-based HDNs rely on many selected metapasses. Uh, and uh, and the, moreover, the design of aggregation strategies or graph convolutions by these HDNs in a special domain is often heuristic, limiting their ability to learn arbitrary graph filters. Additionally, these HDNs obtain graph filters without any necessary constraints making the challenge to learn. So there is a natural question, uh, how we should design our non rational heterogeneous graph convolutions in the spectral domain? Um, first, I'd like to introduce some of the notations. We use G to denote a heterogeneous graph. It has a load set V and an edge set E. For uh, each node, it has a load type phi and each edge has an edge type psi. Then we use the normal case later entry to the number of loads and the uh, upper load, upper case load um, R to those number of edge types. And following um, previous work, we use GR to denote the um, subgraph with N nodes, but uh, only with the Rth edge type. Um, then we use AR to denote the identity matrix of this subgraph DR and DR to denote its all degree matrix. Then we use the hit AR to denote the normalized identity matrix and AR to denote the normalized Laplacian matrix. And for brevity, we use PR to denote the shift operator in the graph signal precision. <coughs> and in practice, PR can be set as hit AR and AR. Um, for for simplicity, we assume that our loads have the same dimensional features and denote the feature matrix as X, and each column can be treated as a graph signal vector X. And our motivation comes from two aspects. First, we recall that spectral based genes are homogeneous graphs. This method approximates arbitrary graph filters by polynomial, and specifically. The graph filter function H lambda was approximated by a polynomial with some filter with WP. And sorry. It's worth uh, <coughs> it's worth to load, noting that such polynomial can approximate any uh, filters, such as the high pass filter, uh, band pass filter, and uh, so on. Uh, however, in heterogeneous graph, although existing HGNs have attempted to Operate some special filters, um, but not all type of these filters. In other words, uh, these methods cannot be equivalent to a multivariate polynomial with uh, the shift operator P1 to PR. On the other hand, uh, according to the polynomial optimization framework defined on homogeneous graph, uh, there are some constraints for the graph filter, uh, specifically. And in the pro optimization problem, energy function gamma L uh, must be positive semi-definite to ensure the function f y to is convex. And uh, this condition makes the obtained graph filter H lambda show the um, um, greater than or equal to zero, uh, where the lambda denotes the eigenvalues of the Laplacian matrix L. We extended the optimization framework to heterogeneous graph and defined a generalized heterogeneous graph optimization problem. Uh, similarly, the function gamma has to be 
positive semi definite, and uh, we can obtain the optimal solution, uh, which denotes the heterogeneous graph. Then we can deduce the, the heterogeneous graph uh, filter H lambda has to satisfy a positive semi definite constraint. So our goal is to obtain a polynomial that can uh, approximate arbitrary heterogeneous graph filters and uh, satisfy the positive semi definite constraint. To address this issue, we we'll first define the spectral heterogeneous graph convolution as a non commutative polynomial function of shift operators. This non commutative polynomial function H denotes the heterogeneous graph filter, and it, it takes the shift operator P1 to PR as the independent variables. This method has been explored in graph signal processing, but uh, let you but a line condition can definition cannot guarantee the positive semi definiteness of graph filters. So we further propose a positive sem positive spectral heterogeneous graph convolution, uh, which uses the sum of squares to define heterogeneous graph convolution. In this form, GI denotes an arbitrary uh, polynomial, and GIT to denote its transpose. And earlier research has proved that this sum of squares can ensure the positive semi definiteness. And this form is also called the positive non commutative polynomials. So, we propose a spectral heterogeneous graph convolution. It uses the positive non commutative polynomials to approximate when need for a heterogeneous graph filter. And however, in practical implementation, Learning multiple function GI is challenging. Uh, therefore, uh, we simplify the sum of squares form by utilizing a single uh, polynomial G. It's, uh, it's an arbitrary non-commutative, uh, monomial non-commutative polynomials. Remarkably, uh, remarkably, despite focusing solely, slowly on learning a single polynomial function, um, and the experimental results demonstrate that this approach shows excellent performance. Additionally, we, op uh, or we opted for the normalized adjacency matrix as a shift operator. Finally, we obtained the detailed convolution and the model structure for our method. Uh, this figure shows the uh, graph convolution of our proposed positive spectral heterogeneous graph convolution network. Uh, which uh, abbreviated uh, as PSHGN. In the experimental part, we first conduct the load classification experiment to evaluate the performance of PSHGN. Compared to this baseline, PSHGN outperforms them on four datasets. Then we perform the link prediction on two datasets, and the PSHGN also showed the best performance and demonstrating its effectiveness on the link prediction task. Additionally, we conduct the load classification on a large graph, OGB MAG, which has millions of loads and edges. The results indicate the scalability of our method. And then we investigated the impact of the positive semi definiteness constraint. And we compare the PSHN and its variance with this constraint. From the results, PSHN outperformance is variance, especially with smaller stand errors over multiple repeated runs. This results show the significance of the positive semi-definite constraints in learning heterogeneous graph filters. It enhances learning ability to uh, stability in practice when ensuring the non filters are always sterically valid. Also, we conducted the load classification on the DBLP dataset to evaluate the time and memory costs for some methods. The results show that the PSHGSN is comparable to advanced methods by significantly outperformance earlier methods such as HN and RGSN. Moreover, we investigated the influence of the order in the polynomial on performance of PSHGSN. The results show that the performance of 
in just as you say, increase gradually with the increase increasing order, which is consistent with the theorem of polynomial approximation in graph convolution. And in concluding, we focus on designing engines from a spectral domain and the proposed PHS system or spectral engine and um, with well positive non commutative polynomials. PSH engine can learn um, diverse value the heterogeneous graph filter and achieve good um, performance on real world tasks such as uh, load classification and link prediction. Um, this paper is the first to dig well into the definition of heterogeneous graph convolution from the spectral domain and open some directions and some new directions for future research such as uh, scalability and the accessibility uh, heterogeneous graph filter analysis. That's all of my presentation. Thank you.